Hey, it's baking time! Hi guys, it's Dika back with another video. This lighting is terrible. Give me a minute. Hi guys, it's Dika back with another video. And for today's video, I'm going to be baking chocolate chip cookies. So, I don't know how to make cookies from the top of my head, so I'm going to be using a recipe because it's easier like that, and hopefully it tastes good. I've been wanting to make this video for like so long now, but I've been like procrastinating and like completely like ignoring the video. Oh, I got a bowl by the way. I hate that in recipes you have to like scroll all the way down to get the actual ingredients and like stuff so I found butter I don't know what type of butter this is because I've never seen it before but it says good for baking salt chocolate chips I forgot about that this is the main ingredient guys like forget about flour and all that this is what you need I should warn you guys that I've never made cookies before on my own and every time that I bake it doesn't come out good unless if like I use a box cake or like a box brownie or something like that. We'll see. So right now I need three cups. That's a lot. Baking soda, salt, and baking powder. I'm struggling guys. So I don't have a teaspoon, so I'm gonna use two scoops of half a teaspoon and hope for the best. One, two. Okay, we're doing the same thing with salt. This says sea salt, but I'm just using whatever salt that I have. That's a lot of salt. We're getting serious now. So I have to make it into a cream. Fluffy. Mix in. Shoot. Roll two tables. Okay. I should have said this before. I washed my hands before I did all this. This is not working. Okay, that bed made a lot of mess. I don't think the sugar fully combined. Or did it? Yeah, it did. It said until it's creamy, but... Is this creamy? There's shells! Damn. <gasps> what? <gasps> I just put a whole tablespoon in here! It's not that big of a difference. Three teaspoons make a tablespoon. We're just gonna be one extra. So, there's still like pieces of brown sugar in here. Like, it didn't fully mix. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna add in the dry ingredients. Whoa, this is so cool. Whoa, it's like snow, guys. The one thing I know about baking is that you're supposed to scrape the sides. That's Literally all I know. Okay, now chocolate chip cookies. Can you like turn this into like cookie dough ice cream? Is that how they do it? I made the cookie dough. It looks a little weird right now, but this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna line the pan and be right back. I line the cookie tray and I'm going to. No. Okay, so I'm I don't think I'm supposed to taste it, but no one's here to stop me. Mm. You taste oh wow, that's a lot of butter. No wonder you're not supposed to taste it. So it says to grab two tablespoons. I don't know how much is two tablespoons on a spoon, so we're just doing it. I'm not gonna show it because this doesn't look very appetizing and it's not very aesthetic. I need some visuals. Ta-da! The cookies will form into 
it's a regular, it's shape. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. So the cookies are done. Um, I put another batch in because I did the two trays and then I've made another one because there was extra dough. But this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I mean, not really. They're really big, first of all. But it's cute. I like it. They look good. Some of them stuck together though, like those two right there, they stuck together. And then those two over there stuck together. But other than that, this one has a really nice shape. And this one too. I'm gonna try to taste it now. Look at that, guys. So I'm gonna taste test it now. That's good. It tastes like cookie dough. I'm proud. So I'm gonna take out, oh, I didn't set a timer, shoot. So I'm gonna take out these cookies when the time is up, which is in like five minutes. But for now, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And comment down some other recipes that you guys want me to do because I'm thinking of making this into a series like baking with Dika or cooking with Dika or something like that. So comment down some other things that I should make like food or even like treats and stuff. So yeah. Also, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time, which is probably next week if I'm not lazy to post. Bye! If I bake like this again, I'm opening up a bakery like, bro.